So kind of an old one here, but a goodie. Um, so one of my old bugs was that Theta V, uh, the 360 camera. Um, it has USB out, 4K, and I say 4K, but you know, 360 cameras love doing their whole fake 4K. Nonetheless, um, basically, I it used to not work really well in Wirecast, and I just recently noticed that in Wirecast, the latest 13.1 beta, the you guys have been talking about how it's definitely improved, and only to see how well it did improve on the Theta V. So one of the bugs was that you guys dropped the, the, the input, um, and then you brought it back. Um, so I figured I may as well try it. So interestingly, I've got the Theta V connected and it's still the default um, little like, cool, here's what it comes from the driver. Um, and I thought, oh crap, is my Theta V busted and can't do anything? I'm like, well, let me open up OBS. So let me, don't save that. Um, OBS, OBS uses the same drivers. Um, and if I go into here, uh, sure enough, like OBS shows me uh, what the camera sees. Um, obviously there's a slight delay to that, but there is obviously a camera feed to that. So that's the, uh, the Theta V 4K. Um, if I do HD, it's just a lower resolution, but it's still coming in. Um, the intent was to test, no, not that one, uh, the, the 4K input, uh, which obviously does take a bit of time, but it does load. If I okay this, I'm gonna close this down and I'm gonna open up Wirecast. No, not, not, wait, what? No, why would you, oh, God, the window sucks. Um, so, Wirecast, right click, uh, and then pull up the 4K for that. Now, Wirecast does not show anything past that. Even if I use the, um, the video selector and I say 4K, I'm gonna say add, nothing. Um, if I go like the, the resolution 13, uh, sorry, 3840 by 1920, as you can see here, that's, that's happening here. Uh, frame rate, I can't change the frame rate. There's only one option selectable. Um, and dynamic range, I'm just keeping to the defaults for everything. And there's only one format available. If I jump back over, I'm gonna say don't save that. I'm gonna jump back over to OBS. And let's take a look at what it's actually pulling in here. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't actually give me the info for that. Um, as I've just basically said, great, give me the default. But I believe um, all of the default stuff here, like it it should just have the default for it. Um, like that's what Wirecast should be pulling for all the default values for it. So at the moment, it doesn't look like Wirecast is pulling any of the default values for a Ricoh Theta V camera. Um, let me know if you guys are seeing the same thing or if your 4K videos are just simply not pulling. Um, I don't know why it would do this. Um, I am truly at a loss to uh, to why it is um, that the Theta V just simply doesn't have any type of uh, input into Wirecast. It used to, and it used to just be super slow. Um, the frame rate was just super low because it, Wirecast wasn't able to handle the uh, the 4K into it. Um, now it just seems like it doesn't even load into it. It just pulls the default video feed uh, and doesn't take the actual um, footage feed from the camera.